So let's uh, continue this on the way home. Let's do one more. Uh, later I'll actually release a video of me doing a repair today uh, front and rear cameras on a 2020 Raptor on what to take apart and put together to replace everything. Then you gotta go in the computer and initialize the cameras. Anyhow, customer states, 2017 Ford F-350. Really nice Hispanic guy. Uh, spoke real well, very well, edu very educated, um, very well dressed, really clean. The truck was clean, immaculate. And then uh, I opened the hood. And the customer states that uh, it's just my I can't get any radio frequencies and stuff. My XM doesn't work. My AM, my FM doesn't work, or any of that stuff. While I'm or my 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 XM does work, but my AM and FM don't work. I can't get any of my AM FM stations while I'm on the road. They come and go. So I, one of the main problems is the antennas on these trucks or uh, the audio control module or accessory protocol interface module. I do a lot, I specialize in a lot of the electronic stuff with Ford. Um, you know, that's just not some shady hole in the wall type shop. I'm, I'm a dealer mechanic, a master tech journeyman. And I open the hood and I go to check where the antenna goes through body. There's this like old speaker wire from like back in the 70s, this shoddy, just rat's nest ran across the hood that's running power from their power source down to the LED lights in his wheel well. So I pull, because the antennas don't like that, that interference. Um, so I pull all that wire and stuff down, actually cut the wire to get it out of there. Because it just ran very poorly. Pulled it all out of the way and then all of a sudden radio and stuff started working again. So I said, I asked the customer, I said, you want me to actually run the wires the correct way? Because all those wires, whoever did that for you, well, I took it to a shop. It was a pretty well-known, reputable shop. Well, uh, they didn't do a good job. Uh, I'll rerun all the wires and stuff for you. It charges like an hour to do it because there's a lot of wires in the front and back, and I'll do it the right way. Okay, that's fine. I'll pay an hour for you to do it. Good. Get everything lined out for the guy. Get all of his LED lights with the remote and everything working fine. Give him his truck back. He's super happy with it. No problems at all. The guy calls back like 20 minutes later after he left. And uh, so he calls the dealership. Hey, can I talk to the mechanic? Uh, okay. The service writer's like, he's kind of busy. I could have him call you back. Who is this? Well, is he just worked on my truck and fixed my truck for me. So I just picked it up. I really need to talk to the mechanic. Like, it's an emergency. It's, it's, I have to talk to him. Okay, all right. I'll call him up here call me up there he says hey man uh when you were working on the truck did a little bottle fall out of the side of the truck like is it like a pill bottle or anything on the floor right there uh, i was like uh i mean not that i know of i didn't see anything i didn't hear anything fall and he says yeah i just i need you to go verify verify that there's there's no bottle like anywhere around where you were working on the truck or something like that maybe walk outside where you picked it up and please verify it Okay, fine, fine, fine. I go back there and I look on the ground and there's a pill bottle there. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I should touch this thing or not. So I got some gloves and I put some gloves on and I got the bottle. And it just was like Tylenol 500 or something like that. And I'm thinking to myself, none of my business, but I wonder what's in here. So. I had to. <laughs> I had to, guys. I was curious. Probably a stupid thing to do, but I had to. I opened it up and I was like, uh, yeah, you need to come get this now. Uh, now, like right now. And I dropped it in like a sandwich bag, zip, zip tied it up, or zipped it up. I come get this. I, I'm not going to say on camera what it was. A little blue pill, and it wasn't the kind that makes that thing. Um, it was a different kind of blue pill. And he came in a hurry, picked it up, tucked it away real quick and stuff like that, and then got out of there. Some of the stuff that we see as dealer technicians, even, you know, mom and pop shops or your local shop or something like that, your local chain shop, whatever. My God, man, when you're taking your car to the dealership, put your junk away. If you're going to take it and put it in somebody else's hands, take your stuff, your substance, whatever, and put it in your home. Secure it somewhere. Or keep it on you. I don't care. Don't 
put that in the care or, or leave that in somebody else's hands. It's not a good idea. Yeah. And just to think of it, this, this guy's a government contractor who travels often between here and, and Mexico. He does a lot of... Okay, I won't say no more. <laughs> um, yeah, we deal with a lot of weird wild... I got more for you. I, I got more for you. I work for Hertz, so uh, if you know where that's where I'm going with that. Uh, if you imagine the things that I, that I found in rental cars and had to have the police called and come out and shut down um, complete areas with like crime scene tape around cars and stuff like that, where they have to come out and investigate, and where they do find stuff that, that was used in a crime, and then they have to get the customer's information and stuff from us as well to sometimes go arrest them. Yeah, anyway, I'll be blessed.